For this video I'm going to show you a very very simple way in which you can enlarge or even reduce your reference photos so that you can fit your image. If you've only got an A4 printer you can fit the image then over multiple printouts to make something really large. Okay so this is really simple. I'm showing it in Photoshop. I'm sure every image editor will do it. You're going to have to you know just check them out just to make sure there's maybe a slightly different way but as I said this is very simple. Photo I took of a zebra foal a couple of months ago back in the summer and I thought I'd use that as an example. Now I haven't done anything with this image just come straight off the camera so you'll see the actual size as well but keep in mind every camera is going to have a different resolution. So some, you know, expensive ones will be able to perhaps uh, print out much, much larger and retain a lot of detail. Very cheap ones, you wouldn't be able to print uh, quite as large, but it's surprising what you can get away with. So first of all, let's see the actual size of this image. So if I go image, image size, you can see that is saying at 300 pixels per inch or dots per inch, it would be 18.24 inches high, 12.16 wide. So I could change that into centimeters. So that's 46 by 30. It doesn't usually come off to a size that we want for our paper. And sometimes we want to get a, create a certain size for a picture frame as well. But what I want to show you is and I'm going to keep it in inches just because it's easier for me. Um, I'll show you what to do if the image needs to be larger than A4. Because if it's A4 or smaller, it's just a standard printout. Okay, so if I wanted to do this on an A4, I know that the height of an A4 is 11 inches. Okay, so because I've got resample here as well, it's going to work out everything that it needs to be. So that print then would be 11i and 7.3 wide. Okay, now an A4 piece of paper is slightly larger than 11 inches, it's slightly wider than 8 inches if we're talking portrait orientation. So by selecting 11, I know I've got a tiny little white border going around it because generally we won't be able to print right to the very edge of a piece of A4 paper anyway. Okay, so if I wanted to do, as I said, 11 inches, or if I wanted to do it 8 inches, I just select that and put it in what I want, and then the width is working out itself. Okay, so that's what you do if you want something A4 or less. So I'll cancel out of that, so we can forget that now, and we'll look at it as if I want to do it larger. And a, a very frequent size that I do is 11 inches wide and then whatever the height is. So I don't constrict my image by um, usually a mount size or a frame size. I draw it or I crop the photo to, to suit exactly what I want um, to, to be in it. Okay, So I don't just crop off some of the top like that just because I want it to fit in a frame. I'll make sure that this that I look at the photograph as it is and I get that to what I think is perfect how I want it and then whatever proportions that is that's what they are okay so I don't alter the photo just to suit a frame or mount so let's suppose we want this to be 11 um, let's say roughly 11 inches wide. So let's see what that turns out to be. Image, image size. And if I want that 11 wide, it's gonna be 16.5 high. Okay, so a sheet of paper, it'll go the width and then it's gonna be just over two sheets of paper high. I'm fine with that because looking at it, I could easily crop off a quarter of an inch on the top, quarter of an inch on the bottom, or I could just say if I wanted, say it was critical 
perhaps the ear was right to the top and the foot was near the bottom and I didn't want to crop any height I could say okay I want the height to be 16 inches and then it will crop instead the width you know it'll reduce the width so let's say let's say that let's say it's going to be 16 inches high because I know that will fit on two A4 pieces of paper so 16 inches wide and we'll say because my camera is uh, quite good with this image we'll say 300 dots per inch pixels per inch because that's an ex excellent quality for a print okay if the quality wasn't there you would see all of this when it's zoomed in 100% really start pixelating okay and uh, creating no detail because I know this is really detailed it'll work out fine so we've got our image let's look at it again image size is 16 inches by 10.6 wide so I know if that's 16 inches high if I put my A4 on the side which is 8 inches two of those it'll fit on it so let's create this is how I'm going to print it over multiple pages let's create our blank page so file new right so here we go I'm telling it now what this blank page is going to be an A4 is 11 inches wide by 8 inches high we want the resolution this is important if you don't get this the same as your image when you drag the image over it'll all the proportions will distort okay so this got to be exactly the same as we just set up the image 300 pixels per inch dots per inch we used to call it now this little bit here color mode if you know anything about Photoshop you could check the image that came off your camera and it would say probably RGB color and it would say probably 8-bit color okay you don't need to know that but you know that would probably be it um, all these other things don't really worry about just leave them as they are and we'll say create so there's my A4 sheet of paper okay so that's exactly A4 let's drag that down so I'm holding touch the top here left click holding it down drag it down to bring my page down put that down by there I'll do the same here left click drag that one down that puts my image there now in theory if I've done this correct I should be able to drag this image off here and drop it onto my blank page so to do that left click hold it down drag it over you see I've got a little plus sign there now drop it and there you go I'll put that up top so we can see it properly I'll get that out the way so what I've got now if I move this about you see it's just under A4 so I could put the zebra there okay what I like to do so I know that I'm lining up the next one I've got uh, a ruler around the top and the bottom here you can put that up in Photoshop by just going view rulers see it's gone there view let's show the rulers there I can click in there left mouse hold it down and drag out an edge and that'll give me a guideline then of where I can line that up to okay so I line it up there well, let's just check it fits so holding it down with the left button left mouse button drag it down remember we should have a little bit over the top so that's down to the edge and we got see that tiny edge there okay so how I would print it I know I wanted to crop a little bit off the grass remember okay so I just get that there and then I go file print now all the printers if you've got your A4 printer mine's an Epson XP 8600 okay yours would look have a different name in there and then what you can see in the preview window is just what we see in here so we've got the orientation that landscape as we want it but what we need to do to get a good print make sure printer manages color well, at least that's the way I'm doing it okay 
there's lots of technicalities you can go in with uh, for getting the color correct on your print but let's let's just go through it simple print set ends up comes my Epson if you've got a Canon uh, you will have a Canon printer window come up but they all look very similar I'd select my paper type this is critical if you if you're using a photo paper you need to pick it so if you if you're doing it just to do a tracing you can just pick plain paper you don't want thick paper if you're going to trace off this so let's say I'm just doing plain paper quality standard color or you can do it in black and white if you want color okay and then I would click print that's it okay so it would then print so I'd have my print done of that section then I'd come back into Photoshop I'd grab this left button if funny things are happening make sure that you've actually got the move tool selected okay and then come over on your image you can put be anywhere on it left button but what I like to do is get the mouse right up close to the top see the cursor so I know if I just got a little bit more than that in I can stick my pieces of paper together so I drag it down still holding the left button bring it down I know I've got to be around about there so my paper joins okay I'll give it a bit more so that I can match things up on it I don't want it perfect I want a bit more um, of the zebra printed out and then when I got it lined up roughly let go and then I'd come back in and I, because I've got everything set up now I can just go print one copy and it'll do the same settings as I just did it before so what I then do, do obviously I've got my two A4 pieces of paper I then put the one over the top of the other line it up if you trace him through it all you can do then is get some clear sellotape and when you've got it lined up just stick that together and what you've actually got then is double the size of A4 so that's A3 and you've got all of that zebra on one uh, or two pieces of paper joined to make one large piece of paper exactly the same principle let's say for instance that the image I wanted was much much bigger okay so let's say the zebra was like that I want that I'd already said this is the size I wanted to be but I've only got an A4 printer so I would go get it that size print it drag it down next one print it drag it down next one print it keep doing that till I've got them all okay and then come across to the other side drag him down print it and keep doing that so in this case I would have six pieces of paper and it'd be a really really huge image then to um, print okay and to, to draw so hopefully that's cleared that up it's, it's not difficult at all um, to do it like I said all you're really doing is creating your A4 piece of paper and um, I've got the zebra then to go on it so it's easier for you to just rewind the video or start again get a little notepad for yourself write down exactly what I've done it's only a couple of simple steps but if you don't get everything just right you can have funny things uh, actually happen especially this size not being correct on your page okay so hopefully that's cleared that up for you and now you can print and draw much larger